was bumpy. Well, happy whatever day it is. I just dropped both girls off at school. Big one and little one. They wanted a ride, so I obliged. Now, I'm going to go work on a boat. Okay, so I'm back at home. Going to do some more just general cleaning. Why not? a lot to do. Look at this. It's a hole. This is pretty. I think that's put on with construction adhesive. Just like the, uh, the piece of wood that was in the cabin. Oh, well, we'll fix it, I guess. Uh, somebody's got it. <laughs> Let's get to it. So, when I got this boat, it had this nice piece of wood here. I didn't pay much attention. It, I, it had that other piece there too, and uh, this extra step, and I didn't think much of it, but hey, look at this. That's nasty, rusted. I'm going to take this off. And See what's that look like under there? That looks all right, but it'll probably break. Well, we'll see. I'll, I'll take that step off. And probably end up moving this one back. It's just a two by eight. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, buddy had a, a router. You can tell. <laughs> oh, I didn't router the the wood box for the radio. Hmm. Okay, uh, keep cleaning. Oh, here. <laughs> a CLR. That's working a little bit. We'll put some more on. So this, this piece of plastic is, uh, <laughs> is part of a uh, leftover from a job site, uh, from a shower install. This stuff is really cheap. Uh, it's not to light save either. Anyways, I, I had had it velcroed on there so it didn't look so bad. Because that, after I took the wood off, which looked like hell, uh, uh, yeah, that's that's what that looks like. Nice, eh? Okay, well, it's time to keep moving. I don't have the right tools with me, so they're in the garage, but uh, I'm right here now, so I'm just going to do what I can with what I got. Look at that. Now i got one more over there. <laughs> this is a, uh, a nylon nut. The other one isn't. Probably a different thread, too. Oh, come on. Ta-da! Beauty. Would you look at that? This is even homemade. Somebody's actually welded this together. The cut off pieces from over here. Wow. Oh, okay, well, that's one thing done. I'll have to uh, remember to file these. These are kind of nasty. But, uh, I never liked that second step, it just seemed awkward. So now we're down to the one normal step. I think I'm going to move it back though, because it's a little too far forward. Okay, here we go. Let's 
하나 This board's already cracked. <clears throat> it's cracked right in front of where it was going to be. <laughs> there, before, before it was attached. I think I'm going to put this back on for now. But it had it moved back so that the front end doesn't break off. I need a screwdriver and a drill. So I'm not doing this by hand. I think that's about where I want it. Good enough. Okay, I've got exactly the wrong drill for this. This is a hammer drill. And it's a little quick off the hop. works as a seat. Yeah, that works fine. Oh, man. Okay, let's uh let's tackle that. Yeah, that's a board. There's no good way to get the shot here. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, got some screws in the bottom, screws in the side. unscrewing it, I noticed this wall a little wiggly. Guess that bolt needs to be tightened. Who knew? It's going over this. It's from 1995. It's uh, expired, unfortunately. Oh well. Wow. Oh, it was recharged. <laughs> 1995. <laughs> oh God, how old would this be? <laughs> I just found the manufacture date of this. It's the same as the boat. It's a 1988. Look at that. I think I'm gonna have to recycle this. It's okay. I know a guy will take it. So I'm I'm busting out the big guns for inside the cabin. Silic acid. This uh, I'm gonna spray around the inside and let it sit. That will kill anything. Uh, it's uh, silic acid, also known as wood bleach. Uh, yeah. So. I'm uh, going to clean out a little bit more and then uh, we'll uh, blast it with some acetic acid. With the hat. Tackle in there. Isn't that pretty? Let's see what we're up against there. What a difference a quick vacuum makes. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh man. Okay, uh, gonna vacuum out the bilges. And then we'll spray it down. At least it's going down. Got it all vacuumed, the bilges cleaned out. Gonna give it a rinse. And then I'll vacuum that out, and then I'll spray it with the basilic acid. One thing you don't want to do is overfill this because it holds 10 gallons. That's 100 pounds of water. May as well record this for workers' cop. Uh, with your legs. There we go. 
bubbles. Bubbles are a good thing. That means we're getting into some cleaner water. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, the vacuuming's done. My bilges are empty. They're looking a lot cleaner. Got a plug cockpit drain though. I'll worry about that later. Now I'm going to spray the acylic acid and uh, let it sit overnight. I'll come back uh, tomorrow and give it a rinse. Got it clean. Here's some fast wax. I just want to see what's going to happen if I wax this instead of painting it. I don't know what the rest of it looks like, but I'm just going to do this little spot here and we'll see what, uh, what happens. Hopefully it's a good outcome. A little wet. That's okay. Oh, this stuff's a treat. I don't know. Feels wax. Tough to tell. Oh well, we'll see what it looks like later on. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at that tomorrow and see. Maybe it'll look better. Whew, sweating. Oh, well, that's enough of that for me for today. I've washed it, vacuumed it out twice, then washed it. Um, and then sprayed uh, acylic acid in it, and let's see what happens. That'll uh, that'll do a lot of cleaning. Tomorrow I'll get in there with the uh, probably with the power washer or something. Get it uh, looked after. Hopefully it'll be a much cleaner boat then. That's it for out there. Cleaned everything up. Tried to charge this battery. It's not coming back. It's around eight, nine, nine point two four. Seems to be holding. One of the cells is dead. I don't know which one. Don't much care, anyways. So we're gonna recycle this. We'll take it to a gentleman that uh, will give it a nice home in a junkyard. And I'll get a different one from them for uh, my garage here. This winter, I'm going to try and run everything off of solar. So that using that 1000 watt inverter, unless I find a bigger inverter, uh, which would be great. But I'll uh, use all the batteries from my boats. I've got one in the siren. I've got uh, three in the transition and I'll bring those home and we'll, we'll keep them charged here over the winter and uh, hopefully that'll uh, yeah that'll work uh, nice and I'll I'm sure pick up some more batteries throughout the uh, the fall and into the winter okay I gotta wrap it up here thanks for watching click the clicky things and I don't know. Clean your boat? I said that yesterday. Come on, come over and clean my boat. It's in the driveway. Cleaning tools are in the garage here. <laughs>